Good evening, welcome. Nice to have you with me. It's uh, Saturday, it's the 30th of May, and that's nearly the end of the month, isn't it? And of course, it's Bobcast. I'm saying good evening, it's not actually evening, um, it's afternoon, because uh, today's the, one of the days we can start socially meeting one household with another. So uh, we are going to socially meet a little bit this evening with somebody. So I thought I'd record early. And then by the wonders of magic, British Telecom, Apple, Vodafone, and all the other people involved in the old internet, I will press the button and hopefully this will launch at 10 o'clock um, on Facebook as it usually does, and then on the website. So I record a bit early. However, Isla is already sleeping. You can hear her snoring next to me. Got a bit of a surprise today. Um, someone just knocked on my door and asked me who my energy supplier was. Apparently, Red Bull wasn't the answer they, they, were, they were looking for. Um, but uh, there we go. So what do you call someone with no body and no nose? Nobody knows. That is, that's a real school joke, isn't it? That is a real school, school joke. And... Did you know that the first French fries weren't actually cooked in France? No, they were cooked in Greece. Oh, fat, cooking fat. Yeah, yeah. I think that's come from an American website and uh, a lot of American jokes in there. And I'm not going anywhere near that at all. So how's your day been? It's been stunningly beautiful weather. It really has been gorgeous weather. And... Uh, I haven't been out as much as I'd like to have been today because this morning I was tied up um, in a meeting on a thing called the Big Blue Button. Those of you who've been involved in church training will know what that is. Um, but I've been learning a bit about that today and also practicing, or not practicing, but having a preparation meeting um, for a selection conference. I know I'm banging on about this, but it's, it's quite exciting really because we're breaking new ground. Haven't done a selection conscious conscience and the selection conscience haven't done a selection conference online before so um and I, I suspect they've been done south of the border but they haven't been done up north so we've been working for that and then this afternoon um i was on a zoom service another first where the new baptist minister rob jones was being inducted as a new baptist minister here in kelso so good luck to Rob, and we look forward to welcoming, um, welcoming him and his family when they eventually move here and from Buckhaven. It'll be good good to see them and good, good to have them as part of our community here. Um, I've been getting... Oh, sorry, I had a question yesterday. Somebody said, what's in the bag? So I presume you mean this bag, which was sitting on my chair. Well, I can reveal. Absolutely nothing. It's a bag I used to carry my iPad down to church when I was recording. And uh, it just sat there because it's quite a nice wee bag. It's a Main Street trading bag. And it's solid and it's brown, so it's green. And um, yeah, it's a nice bag. I like that particular bag. Anyhow, quite a few people have said that how much they're enjoying the, the misprints from the parish magazines. And I know some say, oh, they've been around for years, Bob. Yep, well, so have I. So I've been around for years and years and years and years and years. Um, if you'd like to make a donation, fill out a form, enclose a cheque and drip in the collection basket. Mmm, fill out a cheque. Well, there's a thought. I think the day's coming soon where we'll be having swipe cards and con contactless. And uh, it'll just be a machine being passed around. But I'm not sure about that, really. I quite like the uh, the organisational skills and the therapeutic skills of popping your money in an envelope and handing it in. There's something, something rather nice about that. And uh, um, yeah, yeah, that, that's good. The ushers will bring, will come forward and take our tithes and our offerings. Mmm, tithing, eh? Ooh, yeah, ten percent of your income. None. Interesting. Is that disposable income? Is that total income? What does tithing mean? Um, I know in the old days when people had to pay tithes on farms to the landowners, particularly the church, it was 10% of everything they earned. And that's caused 
caused quite a, well, of course, a huge amount of pain um, for, for many. Um, talking of farms and the growing of vegetables and all those things, um, which will be growing like mountains now, our garden's growing and uh, lots of pot, pots appearing and new things in there. Three little sunflowers have popped up today. But did you, have you met Bruce Lee's vegan brother? He's Broccoli. <laughs> Oh, he's broccoli. Yay. I do like that. That makes me smile. That's, that's, that's the best one, the best one I've had today. So, uh, so thank you for that. You, I'm not sure if you're agreeing with me, agreeing with me or not. Uh, the rosebud on the altar this morning is to announce the birth of David Allen Belzer, the sin of Reverend and Mrs. Julia Belzer. Mm. I'm not sure I call it a sin, I have to say. And, um, and then I love this one. It says, let us join David and Lisa in the celebration of their wedding and bring their happiness to a conclusion. Oh, bless. So I wonder who writes these and uh, how, how do they all get through? Um, I didn't do very much poetry last night, um, so I thought I'd do some today. I've got, got a, couple of nice, a couple of nice ones. And um, this one is called The Midnight... I, I said I would do a... Um, a Spike Milligan, but I'm going to hold that because I found, I found this, um, which is by Roger McGough. And uh, this this just appealed to me. I don't know why. It's called The Midnight Skaters. It is midnight in the ice rink and all is cool and skill. Darkness seems to hold its breath. Nothing moves until, out of the kitchen, one by one, the cutlery comes creeping quiet as mice to the brink of the ice while all the world is sleeping. Then suddenly a serving spoon switches on the light and the silver swoops upon the ice screaming with delight. The knives are high-speed skaters, round and round they race, blades hissing and sissing, whizzing at a dizzy pace. Forks twirl like dancers, pirouetting on the spot. Teaspoons, who take no chances, hold hands and giggle a lot. All night long the fun goes on until the sun, their friend, gives the warning signal that all good things must come to an end. So they slink back to the darkness of the cut kitchen cutlery drawer and steel themselves to wait until it's time to skate no more. At eight, the canteen ladies breeze in as good as gold to lay the table and wonder why the cutlery is so cold. Until I opened this book, I'd never heard that poem before, read it or seen it, but I really like that. It's just something you wouldn't expect it, would you? From old Roger McGough. So, uh, so yeah, yeah, very, very good indeed. Give you a bit of Spike Milligan tomorrow, probably. Um, we've been talking about pets as well, and Fergus and Cindy, and then um, we moved on to Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. We've had loads of them. Rosie, who's my, well, she was, she was lovely, and and all the other ones. Um, what about your pets? We've heard lots. I've heard, well, I've got some lovely things about dogs. And uh, all all the things all the things that they do, um, just really 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 nice. Um, there's a thing coming up. Uh, you know, we're sort of talking about how lockdown is going to change and it is being relaxed, and about kindness. Oh, by the way, I hear the local pet shop manager has been sacked. He was found with his fingers in the trill. Can you still get trill? That's a sort of budgie joke, and I'm petrified of budgies. <gasps> wow, so scared. I've told you before, so scared of birds. It's not true. But, you know, I think as things begin to open, um, there's lots of questions being asked. I heard a very interesting question on First Minister's Question Time. Um, when they were saying that supermarkets and our garden centres um, are being allowed to open, and they can both sell clothes. Why can't clothes shops open? And just some really interesting questions and challenging ones um, for, for people to try to answer. 
and I know there's a whole lot of questions about shops and local shops, how they're go what they're going to do, how they're going to do it, how they're going to do with social distancing and all that type of thing as well. I think it's going to be um, a challenge and we're going to need to be kind. Um, there's been some lovely things on Facebook that says if you find something wrong, let's not rush and just point out the mistakes, but uh, let's try to work with people as they, as they all try their best because it's new. It's new to us all, isn't it? And uh, we'll have to see how it does. It's going to be fascinating coming out of lockdown, though, because lives are going to have to restart. Lives which have been not put on hold, but certainly put on lockdown. And, um, and so that's going, to be, that's going to be quite interesting for us. Anyhow, Saturday night, and um, I hope that you're going to sleep well. Um, tomorrow, there's variety of worship. There's the um, Scottish Episcopal Church worship at 11 o'clock, which you can find. There's a link on our website, a link on my Facebook page. Our own worship is now there, and um, you've got me preaching this, this week for Pentecost, um, talking about the names of the Spirit, and what does that all mean. So if you go to standrewskelso.co.uk, click on the little lines on the right-hand side, and you'll see Sunday worship. It'll take you in there. And, um, and I hope that you enjoy it. And I'll put a link up tomorrow so that you can find it. But anyhow, my thoughts and prayers are with you this beautiful Saturday night. And um, enjoy the good weather. Enjoy creation as it grows around you. As I stood out in my garden last night, a hedgehog walked all the way around. Walked right across the lawn from one side to the other. And uh, quite a big one, big boy. Or girl, don't know. Don't know how you sex a hedgehog, really. I can guess, but uh, there we are. So uh, you're expecting a couple of hedgehog jokes. You're not going to get them. Definitely not. Definitely, definitely not. So, uh, so I hope that life is going to treat you okay. As you remember those people you spent Sundays, spent Sundays with in the past and in the future. And, um, and remember, we are edging towards the end of lockdown. We're edging towards new life. It's going to be interesting to see just what that new life brings and um, how we all react to it, because uh, because we will, and it'll be different. So watch thou, dear Lord, with those who wake or watch or weep tonight, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend your sick ones, O Lord Christ. Rest your weary ones and bless your dying ones. Soothe your suffering ones and pity your afflicted ones. Shield your joyous ones, and all for your love's sake. Amen. I pray that God will bless you, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, this night, this day, and forevermore. Amen. Oh, here's a buzzy one. What would you call a bee from the US? Oh, a US bee. God, even they're computerized. Bye.